In Japan, approximately 3,500 people died in traffic accidents in 2018. The Japanese government has set a goal of reducing the number to less than 2,500 by the end of 2020. Over 90% of traffic fatalities are said to be caused by human error, so automated driving technology is receiving a lot of attention as a way of accomplishing this goal. There are a variety of issues that need to be addressed before automated driving can be practically integrated into society, not only developing the relevant technologies, but also reforming legislation and nurturing social acceptance of automated driving. In order to expedite the implementation of automated driving by solving these issues, research and development has been targeted at Automated Valet Parking, AVP. This application of AVP will be restricted to a limited set of locations and applications. AVP is the evolution of the conventional valet parking service. It is an unmanned parking system utilising automated driving technologies. A driver leaves their car at the entrance of their destination, then coordinating with the control centre, the car moves to the car park. When leaving, the driver retrieves the car by using a smart device like a mobile phone. AVP is expected to release drivers from the hassle of finding a parking space and even the challenge of manoeuvring a car into small parking spaces. Further, AVP can drastically reduce the hassle and potential of accidents when travellers drive in unfamiliar environments. On the other hand, parking lot operators will also benefit immensely from introducing AVP. Drivers often circulate to find parking spaces with better access to facilities. Conventionally, congestion is often seen around the facility's entrance in the parking lot. The control centre will allocate vehicles to each parking space efficiently so congestion and turnover will be improved at parking lots. Furthermore, AVP can utilise parking spaces around 20% more efficiently by reducing extra space needed for opening and closing doors while parking. AVP can substantially improve safety by reducing many of the accidents at parking lots and parking lot attendance, parking tickets, and payment machines would no longer be needed. So eventually parking lot operators would increase their operational efficiency. The introduction of AVP will be beneficial to both drivers and parking lot operators in many aspects. AVP can function effectively when vehicles, parking lot equipment and control centres coordinate together and the installation of a communication function compatible with vehicles equipped with the remote parking system or automated parking systems. Detailed maps of parking lots and landmarks will be supplied as parking lot equipment. Control centres are expected to manage parking lot allocation and the entry and exit of vehicles. Aiming at swift adoption of automated driving technologies, the Ministry of Economy, Trade and Industry and the Ministry of Land, Infrastructure, Transport and Tourism have begun promoting the development of AVP. In November 2018, they performed a demonstration in Odaiba, Tokyo. The event was a great success with more than 1,000 visitors in attendance. Implementing AVP requires the coordination of vehicles, parking lot equipment and control centres. Several countries have started to participate in discussions regarding the standardisation of format and Japan is the leading advocate in this area. Our goal in AVP is to establish a new information service platform. Making this platform function effectively will facilitate launching various services for car sharing as well as bookings and payments at parking lots and tourist sites. Eventually, these advanced technological developments for communication between vehicles and infrastructure will improve efficiency of mobility in society.